that we know now has two monitors at work. And it just makes you more productive. The studies are out there. It really is a great thing. As soon as you stand up from your desk, you lose the two monitors. Mm -hmm. You don't have them at the coffee shop. You don't have them when you go home and on the couch. So we made a second monitor that is touch. Yeah. So I'm attached here. I'm running the same screen here. I'm running. I'm controlling my, if I pull up Sketch. Um, sketch, oops. I thought I did Sketch. It's harder to do this upside down than one would think. So here's Sketch. A blank paper. And the demo we were doing is you draw on one and it shows on the other. So mm -hmm. it's a second monitor. Um, added a digitizer pen okay. with 256 points of sensitivity, levels of sensitivity. So wherever you go, you can be now dual screen. And the thought is, the way that I explain it is, here I'm on an Ultrabook at three pounds. This is sub two pounds. So with less than five pounds, which most people's notebook is, right. I have a dual monitor solution wherever I go. This is going to be for the touch model is 349. Yeah, and so we should be out in March time frame in the US. Then panel on here. It's the same power brick that I have in my tablet too, mm -hmm. and the same digitizer, but with Wi Fi. Okay. So as big as your Wi Fi network is, um, you can have two PCs. So imagine on the consumer side, there's only one notebook and the kids are fighting over whose turn it is to play, who's turn it is to surf. Now you have two screens going at the same time kids doing the same thing and so very little lag and this is early so we're expecting this by summer sure. um, this is a little bit behind in fact is this the last next week we'll get to find the true roadmap so um, I'm looking forward to that but it's a very early driver um, but right we're about four hours of battery life but since it's the same battery as my tablet we're probably targeting five to seven um, now if you look at the business side or manufacturing where there's maybe a dirty environment and not, it's messy and dusty. Well, you leave the PC back where it's clean and safe, locked away. So like, like this could stay in this room. I could walk pretty much the whole hotel, have complete control of my PC, bring up the on-screen keyboard if I need to, have all the software. I don't have USB ports. It's not a tablet. I don't have local memory, but I have basically a zero client wherever I go. There's no moving parts. There's no fans. So I'm not going to get clogged up in that dirty environment. Mm -hmm. I can't access the data or save the data or move the data, so I'm okay in a, in a healthcare environment. How do they connect uh, wirelessly? That's a, for the wired, there's just simply a driver to tell it, hey, this is not a memory stick or, or a USB key, this is a monitor. Over here, the little proprietary piece of software just runs to, to share the Wi-Fi connection. Okay. It makes an ad hoc connection from here to here, this, res, this turns into an access point. And um, it doesn't interfere with your connectivity up, and it doesn't interfere with the room, but you just become the wired solution, wireless sure. solution.